Throughout this course, I have focused on the laws you must follow and the idea that if you know the laws, you can be a much better decision maker. Knowing the law is one thing, but knowing what is most likely to cause a traffic accident is another. So here they are. The number one cause of all accidents is driving at an unsafe speed that is below the speed limit. What? This unusually worded category takes into account all of the traffic accidents that occur at low speed, speeds that are lower than the posted speed limit. So examples of these situations where extra caution should be used are going to be parking lots and any time the weather is bad enough that drivers are driving slower than the speed limit. So what this means is that when the weather is bad, drivers slow down, but they still end up in an accident. The main point to be learned here is that when the weather is bad, many drivers still don't slow down enough to compensate for the condition. Therefore, they get into collisions. Remember, when choosing your speed, you must consider the condition of the road, the weather, and the car you are driving. Bad weather equals extra caution, which means low speeds. As drivers, we can handle a lot of problems the road may throw at us as long as we are driving slow. We've already talked about this, but covering it again will simply make you a better driver. Failing to yield the right of way is the second leading cause of all traffic collisions. Mastering the rules related to yielding covered in Chapter 3 are essential in meeting the goal of being a collision-free driver. The key rule to remember about yielding is that the right of way is always given, it is never taken. Read details of other cars that should be yielding to you but may not. Look at the other car's speed, the direction of their tires, their turn signals, the driver's head movement, so that hopefully you will not get exposed to their finger gestures if you know what I mean. Driving at night is another huge factor in raising the likelihood of someone ending up in a collision. 25% of our time behind the wheel happens at night. In driving at night, a driver is three times more likely to end up in a fatal collision. Therefore, I consider driving at night to really be one of the times to exercise greater caution by driving slower. And last but certainly not least is our old friend alcohol. That is right, never fear, alcohol is here. Alcohol is the number one single cause of all traffic fatality. I also think alcohol contributes to fatal collisions being three times more likely to happen at night than during the day. Being aware of your community and knowing where people tend to drink and are forced to drive home because there is no public transportation is one way to minimize this collision causing factor. Let's look at a system you can use to help minimize all driving risk and improve your decision making.